Hi, YouTubers. Um, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. Focus on IT security practice based on my experience. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to install XRDP on your CentOS. In my previous video, I had a video to show you how to install XRDP on Ubuntu. But today, um, I'm using CentOS as an example to repeat the process. It's a little bit different, most are similar, um, but I do see lots of people online having issue. So I'm gonna present the steps and tell you where is the mistake from. Okay, let's start it. I'm using Microsoft Azure to create a um, VN to use. Um, virtual machine name. I'm gonna use in CentOS base 7.7. I'm using standard D2N. I'm gonna use an FSAC as use name. We may need a 3389 port open later. Okay, let's deployment is complete. Let's go to the VM to take a look. We're gonna get the uh, IP address. Let's create a um, new connection. Accept and then save the key, host the key. Um, that's gonna be our username we created during creating a VM. The password. Remember password, it won't end it again. Oh, we are in now. Just want to check the um, system version. Let's go to the privileged mode. Always. Update your system. Okay, system update is completed. Um, you may want to install the EPL repository. After that, we can start to install XRTP and the Tiger VNC server. Okay, finish the installation. We can uh, enable the service and we start the service. Um, if you go online to check a tutorial how to install XRDP, that's mostly what you're gonna get. You are it working? Let's give it a try. It won't work because this uh, RTP port not open yet. We're gonna do it here. That's the first step. It's first missing step here. You need a uh, firewall to open a port. 3389, not on local Linux, by default, the local Linux is fine for the firewall D service. You don't need to change that. But you do need to open your cloud firewall to allow that access. 3389 RDP port, add it in. Looks like port opened, we can connect to it. Let's see what's gonna happen. So first we're gonna using our NASSEC user. 
if you type the wrong password, it will give you a error message. And then you can type again. It looks like authentication completed successfully, but you will still not be able to log in. The RDP window is going to be disappeared. It's gone. What's the problem? It's common issue when you look at online. People always say, oh, there's some settings.ini file need to change. No, because you not install Groom desktop yet. You need that to be installed before you can go to log in with Groom. That's the missing part for most of uh, users. So let's go back to our SSH session to install Grom here. This installation is going to take quite a bit of time. Okay, the installation is completed. So let's give it a try again. We're gonna use same username password to log in. Last time, after you logged in, the RTP window disappeared right away. Now it looks much better. It takes a little bit of time to get the system loaded like Chrome desktop, but it will be there. Finally, we logged in. Um, this is a Chrome desktop the help window. It's still not that fast as uh, you can see from command line, but it is fully working. Um, you may want to create your own user and uh, test it from there. Let's try if we can use this user test one to log in. Okay, it works as well. So if you need to create that new user, just using command add user with username and a password with username to change the password. That's all you need to do. That's all for today's video. It show you how to install 
XRDP to log in to CentOS Chrome desktop environment. Thank you for watching. Hello.